Well, I don't think it's a victory for the Democrats at all because uh, it is quite usual that the in the midterm election, the sitting president gets sort of a one blue eye because people are always discontent about something that happened, by the way, to, to Obama uh, as well. And I think that the fact that uh, through the campaigning, actually the active, you know, jetting from one rally to the next on the side of President Trump, this increased the number of the seats in the Senate for the Republicans. And that is actually quite unusual. And I would say fully a success of, of Trump personally. Now, I think it's uh, very, very important because this changes the situation inside the United States dramatically. And it has obviously potentials for the strategic situation. Now, just to comment on that, you know, the pro Trump Republicans generally won, the anti Trump Republicans in the House generally lost. Uh, <clears throat> so I think that in two cases, uh, Trump uh, was able to uh, achieve victory for a Republican Senate in places where Obama also campaigned very heavily. So basically, Trump won out uh, against Obama. And I think this is uh, really creating a very interesting situation. Now, one of the most important results of it, obviously, is that such a firm majority in the Senate means that you know it's almost virtually completely impossible that the Democrats would pursue their intention to impeach uh, Trump because they would have no chance to get it through the Senate. Then a reflection of that is also the <clears throat> invited resignation of, uh, of Sessions and that now for the next 200 days, uh, Whitaker is the acting attorney general and in that, in that capacity, he is uh, <clears throat> supervising or being on top of the uh, Mueller investigation. And you know, one of the reasons why uh, Schumer and, and others were completely, uh, you know, hysterical is because Whitaker is on record that he already said that Mueller completely overstepped his uh, his territory by including. A fishing operation against the financial records of Trump and his family, that this had absolutely nothing to do with the investigation into the 2016 election. So I think that that is very interesting. Uh, however, you know, obviously, the investigation into the British coup must continue. Uh, and therefore, <clears throat> it would be extremely important and there should be a public discussion about it that Trump should absolutely declassify all the documents which have to do uh, with Christopher Steele, uh, with the collusion of the Obama administration, uh, with the British intelligence services, and that all must come out because that is, uh, you know, something which absolutely has to be gotten out of, of out of the way to free uh, uh, Trump to do what he has to do in respect to Russia and to China. So I think that you know the first signs, uh, which you know Trump um, <clears throat> clearly put forward in his press conference, uh, signaling that he is uh, hoping to get a bipartisan collaboration with Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats working on legislation. And I think that the Democratic Party is put in a very obvious. A situation where either they start to take care of the forgotten men and women in a tradition of Franklin D. Roosevelt, uh, or they keep uh, doing this identity politics, uh, going for the impeachment, which, you know, as I said, is now almost uh, impossible. And that could very well lead to a split in the Democratic Party if they keep doing that. Now, what is obviously needed and very, very urgent is that the necessary economic program is being instilled, which has been to a very large extent lacking from the debates in the campaign, except for what Keisha Rogers did and Ron Wiesurek and a few others. Uh, but I think what we ne now need is a full-fledged mobilization on Klaus Stiegel, the four laws of La Rouge, and the need to have a new Bretton Woods system. And I think that you know, since uh, the La Rouge pack 
organization, the national campaign of Keisha Rogers, and the you know campaign to win the future, uh, did impact to a very large extent large segments of the U.S. population, especially those voting for Trump. So there is actually a very very good precondition to escalate that now, and really bring in the necessary economic solutions, especially Glass Steagall infrastructure, but actually the whole four laws of LaRouche and the new Bretton Woods new credit system to address the urgent issues internationally. But I think this is a not a bad result at all. I think this gives us a tremendous opportunity to move on and actually go towards the solution which the United States and the world urgently needs.